Well guys, it's a big day for us. We got a huge break in the weather, so we're gonna take full advantage of it. You can see behind me here, the sun's coming up on the other hillside over here. We got clear skies, no wind, so that, you know, that's the best opportunity we have to get this crane coming to set these trusses. So, you know, you can see the other previous videos, we got pounded with rain, pounded with wind, uh, I'll put up a couple clips of, I, at one point I had two machines on this building trying to keep it stabilized because when you're building a house, you clearly can't build it all in one day. So there's going to be weak points. And with the wind ripping up through this valley, we're up on top of a hill. There's a portion of this house up here that we had to sheet to stand the walls up. So this is how you build it because it's real hard to sheet a house when it when you're up 20 25 feet in the air so unfortunately the house did shift a little bit um, nothing to cause any breakage of boards or damage or anything so what we did is come along it back got it in place and uh today we got the crane coming we're gonna get the trusses set and uh hopefully we can get this thing tightened up here so stay tuned put some clips up of uh some time lapses and stuff we're gonna try to catch some aerial footage so it should be a pretty good video check it out Crane has arrived so far. Looks like the road's holding up pretty good. See it sinking a little bit, but not too bad. So it just happens to be a coincidence. This is the same crane operator that set the trusses on the barn almost three years ago. Uh, it was still, it's the same unit he brought last time, 83,000. And I believe um, it's 83,000 pounds and it has 128 foot reach.
All right, guys, hope you like that time lapse and some drone footage there. You know, it's, it's such a relief to finally have some nice weather and get some good work in. You know, we had a nice solid day. Everything went smoothly. You know, that's the way it should be. So some of the things that we're seeing now, there was a little bit of trial and error that Keisha and I, you know, we wanted vaulted ceilings, cathedral ceilings. So, you know, it's, it's so hard to put these you know, ideas on paper and then actually see them in person on a vision uh, of what they're gonna look like in person. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're gonna walk through and look at a few things that kind of caught us off guard. Uh, it is what it is now. We're gonna have to go with it. It's a little bit higher than what we thought, but I'm gonna let you uh, take a look for yourself and voice your opinion if you don't mind. So coming into the side of the great room area, this is all gonna be like a wraparound porch, you know, all covered. And then we did rough cut, true eight by eight beams going down through. This is gonna be the front of the house and that's gonna be a, a cathedral entrance. So we, we knew what we were getting there where we have a little bit of a disconnect. And like I said, it's, it's pretty much a done deal now is we wanted a great room on this side with cathedral ceilings and my question to you guys is, can you be too high? Uh, from the finished concrete floor up to the peak of the roof, it's gonna be 27 feet. So uh, that's something that we're gonna come back and try to decipher what we're gonna do to try to fill that void. We're thinking like a big, one of those big turbine fans or something that hangs from the ceiling to kind of take that void up. But you're gonna be big bay windows all through here and then on this face wall here. So. Once the windows and everything gets in, I'm thinking it's gonna close up a little bit better and not look so high and so big, but this is uh, the first thing I noticed when they were setting the trusses is, is the depth on it. So let us know what you think. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I'm gonna do a, the closing out of this video is gonna be the drone, a little bit of an aerial footage, just to see the actual trusses, how they're in place now. And like always, we appreciate positive feedback, so feel free to leave a a question or a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.